<laughs> Merry Christmas. I hope everybody who actually today is the day after Christmas. It's Boxing Day. But yeah, I definitely do hope that everyone who is watching this had an awesome Christmas day. Personally, I did have a lovely Christmas day. Spent it with some family, of course. I uh, also had my daughter over. It was the first time she was over in the new place that I'm currently staying at, my new house. So it was good to have my daughter over there. It was nice up until she started twerking. I will be honest with you. At the time, I had a, I was, I had a little bit to drink you know so now that i'm sober and i'm awake and i'm like you know what? my daughter was twerking and i don't know how i feel about that to be honest with you i mean it's good she's good this is but this is what happens you know as a, as a father who's not uh 100 uh, present in your daughter's life she's, she's gonna end up twerking uh taught by the baby mama baby mama this is you know what uh, i never really talked and uh posted my baby mama but uh you can clearly see where my daughter's getting the twerking lessons from but twerking aside, I will say I definitely did enjoy my Christmas day and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys did too. But for now, of course, I do have some news for you. And what we're going to be talking about is uh, something that I saw happen on Christmas. It was on social media, Musa Mtombini, Dr. Musa Mtombini. I saw him on that uh, trend list as well as his wife, Lizo. Now, when it comes to these two, I will say this, you know, the topic and I suppose people talking about them, whether or not they have kids, has been talked about numerous times. Heck, I believe Lizzo herself has actually, on a social media, actually answered, uh, you know, the well, not really answered, but she talked about it and mentioned that uh, if someone does come through in her comment section or DM, whatever the case may be, and is asking her why does she not have kids, she's going to block them. She is going to block them. And, uh, you know, what? personally, I, I don't really block people i guess i have thick skin like that i am good at ignoring blue ticking people or gray ticking people but uh for her for her piece she's gonna block people and i suppose she has blocked people personally you know before i even get into it i will say this personally i feel when it comes to this particular topic asking married people when are they gonna have a baby number one why do you care are you do you have an investment in that marriage were you there at the lobola negotiations of that particular marriage but more importantly i will say this you don't really know what is going on in that relationship per se you don't know if it could be a medical reason i mean they could medically not be able to actually have kids but other than that they could have other things that they've talked about as a couple not Uti, now we are all part of that uh, relationship but they could have talked about stuff themselves and figured it out and have it work for them but yeah like i said they have been on that social media trend list now from what i see it stems from this particular post i mean it's got over a million views a lot of likes and stuff a lot of comments 940 comments as of me making the video now the post itself as you can see it's a picture of musa Lizo and they have a puppy over there no kids no kids uh, I suppose that is uh, what people are talking about the most instead of uh, Musa I suppose getting a kid he got a dog now I once upon a time I did see Musa posted on Lizo's uh, post asking about kids so from what it seems from what I personally gather on social media is that Musa does want a child from what I gather so he may you know, they do have that banter between the two of them. It's a weird sense of uh, human and a weird sense of the banter they have that uh, plays out on social media between them. So I don't know if he was joking or not. I don't really follow him that closely. But getting back to the post, the user posted, the well, captioned this particular picture as follows. Forget about this guy having kids anytime soon with this woman. That dog wasn't his idea. It's the woman's. Now... Uh, the dog was the woman's idea. I mean, looking at the dog, it's more closer to the guy. And uh, I mean, obviously, it's just a picture. They could have just set the dog there. And uh, at the end of the day, I mean, uh, if if a woman came through with a dog idea, I wouldn't expect, uh, I don't know what type of dog, but that looks like a vicious type of visitor, a pit bull, a rock. Why I'm not a dog person, but I'd be expecting a chihuahua if it was a woman's idea, you know, like a smaller dog, a more cute dog if uh, if i may say that but yeah it goes on to say a woman who views you as her alpha will be eager to have your babies the moment a woman starts telling you about family planning and her career etc no she settled for you now that is a very interesting thing that uh, i was like you know what uh there's a point here and it might not even be that pointy but there's definitely a point over there i will say this i've met 
quite a number of women in my life and uh, funny enough i've met some who were like you know what i'm done with kids and later on in our relationship they want kids i've met women who were like i don't want kids at all and then how's jiggy jiggy they want kids so i do get what the user is saying that somewhere along the line you know when uh, a man and a woman are in that relationship and you see something in each other you do want to procreate i mean that's the whole point of getting into bed and rolling around in the sheets yes it is fun yes it you get some pleasure from it but the actual idea of it the point of it was to procreate to you know multiply so at the end of the day i kind of do get what that uh, user is saying but i also do get the whole you know people have plans careers family planning and etc personally i've always been one of those people who was like you know what i'm i don't really want a kid i've never really wanted to uh, what you might call multiply i feel like you know what my brother's doing the multiplying for for the both of us basically i do have a brother who's got a a a bunch of kids so for me i was like you know what my brother's done the multiplication for my uh, family for my family line the surname will live on i'm sure my brother my my brother's nine years younger than me and he's got more kids than me heck he had a kid before me so i was like you know what my brother's probably going to continue by the time that he retires his uh his uh his junk he'll probably have like 20 kids so i'm cool with that You know what, we took a very, very, very big tangent, but getting back uh, to the topic at hand, it goes on to read, it is hardwired in women to carry an alpha man's genes. Go back to the ancient times. Before innovations in the medical field, it was a suicide mission for a woman to be pregnant. Thus, it was important she'd risk her life for reproducing genes of an alpha male. But then again, you know, I mean, we're not there. You can't be telling us about things that happen and in 1800 when we are now in 2023 growing on to 2024 we do have those advancements and at the end of the day being pregnant now is not really suicide for women heck women probably do enjoy their pregnancy i mean they'd be waking you up in the middle of the night with the cravings you have to get up it's more suicide for the guy you're more at risk because you have to wake up in the middle of the night to go and buy some hot wings But yeah, getting back uh, to the post, even in the animal kingdom, the females only give mating and reproduction privileges to the alpha male. Of course, the men in such marriages will convince themselves they civilize, that they are planning for the right time to have kids. Again, we are not really in the animal kingdom at the end of the day, and no one is really giving reproduction privileges to the alpha right now you know in the society we live in it's not really about being the alpha that you get these privileges now it's more about what you got like your bag how much money you got uh, are you able to provide financially i mean protection protection does usually come with fine i mean if you can provide financially you could definitely provide security it goes on to say so why get married in the first place if you are not yet ready to have kids why not remain boyfriend and girlfriend the main purpose of marriage is procreation says who says who honestly says who over there i mean why some people want to get married to just cut that relationship just uh take the next level the next step in the relationship that commitment to each other for me that is a valid point to get married as well if you want to you know take the commitment to each other that exclusivity or whatever the case may be you want it in writing you want to go to home affairs and sign and and have it in writing that you guys are definitely a thing and that could be a reason it doesn't have to be hey i want kids Uh, but yeah it goes on to say to any foolish man who is in such a situation ask yourself if your woman was married to elon musk andrew tate or drake would she not be begging to have kids learn or perish Uh, okay to any foolish man who is in such a situation do ask yourself that question i suppose me uh if i i'm not foolish but if i was in such a situation i think i would be fine with it not having kids heck it will probably be something that i brought up in my case and that is something that i feel like maybe this user does really understand and at the end of the day we don't know what dr musa as well as Liesl have plans what are their plans personally i'm not planning to be making a whole bunch of kids i mean if i do have a kid i'll be happy about it but it's not really my plan and if i don't i'll be cool with it So yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is the post. Personally, I feel like the arguments in this post are very flawed. They are taken from ancient times, things that uh, no longer apply, in my opinion anyways, to this day and age. I mean, you can't really say in 2023, falling pregnant, you are 
basically putting yourself at risk like suicide it's a suicide mission because you're gonna end up being eaten by a lion i mean, <laughs> I mean really now but yeah ladies and gentlemen i mean do get in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys thought about that post itself and uh what do you guys think about dr uh musam tombeni and his wife lizo tombeni i suppose and as always thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to red live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos